Hi, welcome to another episode of Seattle Rain or Shine and sometimes snow. I'm Mel Parsons and it's really important to me that you love where you live. So I'm sharing some of the places that I think you've got to visit. Today we're at Cloud City Coffee, the Maple Leaf neighborhood in Seattle. Cloud City is such a special place because they've really built an amazing community here, have delicious food and incredible coffee. I like to refer to it as my other office. I probably get more work done here than anywhere else. I've been coming with my babies for the last 15 years. Come on inside and see what's so special about it. All right, so here we are with Jill Killen, the founder and owner of Cloud City Coffee. Jill, tell us a little bit about the history. You've been here for 16 years in Maple Leaf. 17 this year. Okay, 17. Yeah, right. Yes. I wanted something in my neighborhood that had a connection. I really wanted to get into coffee. And um, our local coffee shop had burned down. I don't know if you remember. Wow. Uh, Cafe yes. News burned down. And so um, this became, place became available. And I had a dog at the time, and I walked by this place every night, and it was a dog treat bakery. And every dog in the neighborhood knew it. And they didn't do wholesale, but they had to do some. Anyway, they, the last... Um, the landlord did not let them make any changes to the building, and, but I think he saw the writing on the wall that he needed a new tenant. We were a potential long-term tenant, obviously that obviously. worked out really well for him. Yeah. yeah, he still took a chance on us, which I greatly, greatly appreciate him for that. Barely, you've never done coffee before. I never had. Yeah, I had never had done coffee before. Train. I'd run businesses before, retail businesses, but I'd okay. never done coffee. Yeah. To having like an iconic Maple Leaf business. Yeah. What would you say are a couple of factors that got you from that dream to where you are now? Um, we, we, we listened to the customers from day one and we, we saw from day one that um, we needed to appeal to uh, people that weren't necessarily wealthy or upper class. Okay. And so we started offering the dollar drip right away and that was a huge hit, like overnight it was a huge hit, self-serve. Okay. So that was um, a big deal. And then um, I think just trying to stay grounded in Maple Leaf has been really important to us and staying true to our roots and our, our, our clientele and our neighborhood. What makes Cloud City Coffee different than another coffee shop down the road? We seem like we're really laid back, but we're really crazy efficient. Mm -hmm. And so we just have this feeling that I hope is very comfortable for people. And I think maybe sometimes we send off the wrong vibe, like we're not we're not in a hurry. It's just that they, my staff is so doggone efficient mm -hmm. that they are saving energy everywhere they go. Mm -hmm. um, and then, so having that friendly openness and then the fact that we do have the honor bar and people just know, okay, you trust me to come in and do this. And the coffee's just sitting here. And, and we take a lot of pride in it. I mean, we like test that coffee every week. Scientifically tested every week. We have a refractometer. Most coffee shops in Seattle don't do that. So come see for yourself what a special place Cloud City is. It's great to just meet up with a friend for coffee or bring the kids and get a big yummy cinnamon roll before heading to the park or bring your laptop and get some work done. I'm Mel Parsons with Seattle Rain or Shine. Keep an eye out for our next video.